Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, August 15th, 2021. This puzzle has a title. It's called Think Twice. All right, let's get started. All right, it looks like we have a few shaded squares in here. Looks like there's four and they're all three letters long. Very interesting and they're all going down. All right, let's start with one across. Confound. Hmm, if you're confounded, you're confused, right? Addle? Hmm, maybe being addled is being confused. Let's see if we can build off of that on the downs. Novelist Margaret? I think that's Margaret Atwood. She wrote The Handmaid's Tale. They made the TV series out of that, yeah. Okay, that confirms I think Adel, and look at the shaded squares here. It says two, and the title of our puzzle was Think Twice. So I think that's a very good sign there. Um, I wonder if they're all just gonna be the word two? Maybe they'll be two in different languages? Maybe. Um, zwei in German is four letters long though, so we wouldn't be getting a German two. Absorb the beauty of as a scene. Hmm. I don't know. It, I kind of feel like it should end in in, like bask in, something like that. Let's see if this is an I. Actress Meryl? Hmm. This is not Meryl Streep. She spells her name differently. I don't know if I've heard of this person. Signed off on? That should be okayed, right? Can you spell okayed like that? I think you can with a apostrophe, possibly. Maybe this is drank in, or maybe drink in, because it's present tense, right? Yeah, absorb the beauty of, drink in, that sounds good. Lacked the gumption to? Hmm. I don't know. Can we get the acrosses here? Dark hair and a warm smile for two. Is it a trait? Are they traits? Hmm. Gladly old style. Hmm. Old style. So this is going to be like archaic language. Huh. Jazzy James and Jones. Were they both Eddas? I know Etta James. I don't know if I've heard of Etta Jones. Ink holders in pens and squid. Um, hmm. Are they sacks? Do pens have sacks of ink? Is that right? That seems a little weird to me. I would definitely believe a squid would have an ink sack, but pens? I don't know. Ukraine or Lithuania formally. And these are both abbreviated. I think they were both Soviet Socialist Republics at one point. Duplicitous. Hmm. I wonder if there's going to be something weird happening with our shaded squares. Hmm. What's this one? Something that bugs criminals. And this is wordplay. Hmm. I have a feeling it's going to be about bugging them with like listening devices. Yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be wire tapping. Yeah. Hmm. These two don't seem like there's anything funny happening with the beginning. So I imagine this just is something we can't think of just yet. Uh, hmm. Maybe this is dared not, lacked the gumption to, yeah. And then Man, I have no idea. L-I-E. One something? Hmm. Like morning people vis-a-vis -vis night owls around dawn? Okay, so morning people would be very awake and chipper and night owls would be very tired around dawn, right? So maybe this is perkier? Yeah, okay. Um. Wait a minute. 
Shouldn't this be two-faced if you're duplicitous? You're not one-faced. And there is a two here. Hmm. One-faced. It's almost like this one is getting multiplied by two somehow to get two-faced. That's very weird. Um, Because that doesn't really affect these two. It seems like it's only affecting this one. Interesting. Think twice. Okay, so maybe that is what the theme is going to be, though. Maybe the beginning of the ends of these answers here will have a number. And then um, you'll have to multiply it by two to get the right answer or the normal non wackified answer. Let's see if we're right about that, actually. If the pessimists are right, hmm, an equivalent phrase. So that should be at worst, right? I definitely had these TWO letters in there in my mind while I was thinking about this. That made that a lot easier to see. Okay, so we have another two. So let's hope that this is a number, maybe? Words before, before. Okay, so this should be more than one word here. On or before, I think. Um, oh, okay. Maybe it doesn't always come off of the last letter. Maybe, maybe this is our theme answer here. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's a little weird. Okay. Um, so it's not always going to be consistent which of the intersecting across answers is multiplied. This is maybe looking like it's going to be 12, right? Okay, hashtag, dollar sign, I won't go through them all, but yeah. These are all kind of examples of expletives, maybe? Um, hmm. It almost seems like it should be swear or something. Those letters really don't fit, though. Hmm. Maybe it's not going to be 12 here. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Can we build off of this one? Alerts should be notifies. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Accelerator particles should be ions. Like the Large Hadron Collider. That's a big particle accelerator. Um, overwhelm. That could be flood. Okay, so it's not 12, it's 2. Okay. So we're going to be multiplying two by two, right? So this actual answer should start with four. Um, hmm. Four something something. I mean, these are both groups of four characters that kind of can stand in for expletives. So that does make sense. But I don't know how it's going to end. For, let's keep building off this way. Stroke. Pet, maybe? Like you would a cat? What is this, though? A genre for BTS or Blackpink? Yeah, that's definitely K-pop. Okay. East in German. The word for East in German is Ost. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so this is four letter words, right? Very nice. That's as close to swearing as you'll get on the New York Times crossword puzzle. Okay, nice. I think our theory about how these were working was pretty much right on target. Uh, we just weren't expecting that the answer that needed to be multiplied could show up on any of the letters here. All right, that's fun. First law enforcement org in the US to hire a female officer, 1910. Okay, so I mean, it's probably NYPD. I mean, it could be on the West Coast, too. It could be like LA or San Francisco. It's awfully late. Um, hmm. We're not really going to know for sure. Let's see if this is a Y. Samoan capital. Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't know the money they use in Samoa or the capital city. Hmm. Sarcastic internet laughter. Sarcastic. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what that should be either. Nail polish brand? 
Isn't that OPI? Or is it OP? Yeah. List of performers. That should be a lineup, I think. Starman? And this is wordplay. Hmm. Starman. It's not someone that comes from the stars. Is this lols with a Z? <laughs> I think maybe. All right, so is this Ziggy for Ziggy Stardust? I think that might be right. Um, oh no, but then what is this? Ew. I guess this is probably LAPD then. Um, AP though, that sounds really weird. It could be a city and it could also be currency. I just, I haven't heard of this. The two eyes is making me really worried. Let's see if we can confirm Ziggy. Musicianship. Hmm. I wonder if it's a lineup that's wrong. It probably is. Let's take that out. Um, hmm. Places for development. Development. Interesting. Well, I'm not sure about that either. Extends in a way. This is going to be about a very specific type of extending. Hmm. Leading to call? Hmm. Boy, we're getting nowhere up here. Blank of lies? Is that a den of lies? I think it is, isn't it? Can we confirm that? Some tax breaks? Hmm. It's not write-offs. Seems like it should be write-offs. Hmm. W. That seems so good. Deck the halls contraction. Tis the season to be jolly. All right. Latin list ender. That should be at all, right? Means, and there's other people that were involved in this citation that we're not listing. Um, okay. So this, I think, confirms W here. I'm not sure what this should be. Wad of lies? <laughs> that's all I can think of. Um, I don't really think that's what it should be, though. <sighs> hmm. I feel like it's probably pretty obvious. I just can't think of it. Oh, man. All right. Maybe we can build up and around this way. Some Hershey candies. Did they make Rolos? I think they might. Symbol on the Connecticut State Quarter. I think there's a tree on the quarter, so I'm going to guess it's an oak tree. Wednesday, but not Friday. Hmm. I bet this is about the literal word Wednesday, not the actual days of the week. Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure what it's going to be, though. Response to how bad was it? <laughs> is it don't ask? That means it was really bad. Okay, yeah, that's a really nice kind of response phrase to how bad was it? Aquafina is to PepsiCo as blank is to Coca-Cola. I think Coca-Cola's water brand is Dasani. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is just mystifying me. All right, maybe we can build up in this section. Corn kernel, e.g. Hmm. I mean, it's like a seed, I guess. Like if you planted it, it would probably sprout. I don't know if that's what they're talking about. No, that should be a niblet, right? <laughs> that's such a funny word. Uh, what a nice piece of fill. It's just so funny. Okay. Yeah, that's what they say on the cans of corn, right? Niblets. Blank dress? Um, hmm. It's a little general. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Blabberer? I want it to end in mouth. Maybe loud mouth? Yeah, there we go. We're making some progress finally. Half of a 1955 union merger? I mean, it might be 1855. Um, 
No, I bet this is an actual like workers union. It might be the AFL. That's a big labor union. Um, the other half is the, I think CIO. I think it's AFL CIO is the giant labor union. Two's opposite could be fro. Most Times Square signage. Um, hmm. Most of it is video screens at this point. Huh. That's enough arguing out of you, an equivalent phrase. Uh, hmm. Lip puckering could be a pout. What in the world is this? I've spent a lot of time in Times Square. I should know what this is. Hmm. Things that may be rubbed after din din. Okay, so this is kind of like cutesy language, right? So you'd rub your stomach after dinner, but a cutesy name for a stomach is tummy, right? So it'd be tummies. Okay. Full length. Huh. Like a full length dress? Performance check. Is that just a test? Playwright Will, who was a 2005 Pulitzer finalist. I don't think I've heard of this person. Crew implement? Is this about rowing crew? Yeah, I think it's a skull. I think the rowing boat is called a skull, actually. Maybe the paddle can be a skull also. I'm not actually sure. Hopefully the goose can straighten me out on what the skull is exactly in crew. One getting special instruction. That should be a 2T. Someone going to a tutor. Just like blank. That should be just like that. This is uncut. Yeah, okay. Full length. Will Eno? There's another Eno. It's not just Brian Eno. Oh my god. Will Eno. Okay. Gotta remember good old Will there. Um, what is this? Adam dress? Huh. Boy, it is so hard to break into this little section over here. Cause for an onslaught of yearly texts? I guess since this is abbreviated, we're going to have an abbreviated answer. That could be your B-day, right? Um, added to the staff, and this is wordplay. So this is not about being hired. What kind of staff are they talking about here? Like a magical staff? Maybe a musical staff. Yeah. Mm, we had trouble with this one, didn't we? Shoot, we cannot break into here as hard as we're trying. Um, hmm. I wonder if there could be more to the theme than just these four think twice answers. Huh. I don't know. This should be plural, right? So maybe this S will help? That's enough arguing out of you. Hmm. Can we build up? Racial justice movement since 2013 in brief. That has to be Black Lives Matter. Uh, <laughs> oh man, this is such a great little tricky clue here. This is about Wednesday Adams, right? Uh, from the Adams family. That's so great. I love it. Um, still doesn't help too much here. Yeah. Boy, we're going to have to figure this out at some point, but let's keep moving on. Practice whose name means literally union. Is that yoga? I never knew that. Okay. Booze and cheers. They're just noises, maybe? Using our handy crossword strategy of thinking of the most generic thing a clue could possibly be, yeah. Light. That could be ignite, maybe. Bought in. Could that be anteed, like at a poker game? We got this filled in here. Stop along the highway is an in, yeah. Really, though, an equivalent phrase could be is it? Blank the cat, fictional feline of children's books. 
I don't know if I've heard of this cat. Is it Pete? It's kind of looking like it. Beach with a girl who swings so cool. Yeah, that's Ipanema, right? The girl from Ipanema, that's a song. Okay. Coaxed out of, um, maybe teased out of. You can like tease information out of someone. Okay. Job to do. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. High quality cannabis in slang. I don't know if I've heard of this. Spirit in Arabian myth. Oh man. Yikes, that's a little tough. Okay, can we get this long one? Betray or a hint to four answers in this puzzle. Um, well, <laughs> the title of the puzzle is Think Twice, so we're probably gonna have double at the beginning here. Um, I guess it's double cross. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's literally you're doubling at the cross of our theme answers. Okay, that's a nice little revealer there. Um, doesn't help too much breaking back up into here, but yeah, it's still a good one to get. Okay, sound at the end of December appropriately. Is it burr because there's December? It's the last sound in December. All right, that's good. Set of 50 on the Argo in myth. Okay, those have to be oars. I don't think you'd have that many oars on a skull. Or are skulls paddles? Oh, I still don't know. Bite sight? Um, bite sight? What in the world are they talking about? A site where you would be bitten? Awesomest bud should be BFF. Oh, is it a place where you could get a bite? Oh, there we go. It's a cafe. That was tricky. Okay. Finished brushing one's teeth, say? That could be spat, yeah. Usually spit when you're done brushing your teeth. The Magic School Bus was its first fully animated series. Is that PBS? Is that true? That's surprising. I had no idea. They've had so many animated shows, I guess, since then, like Arthur and... Wow, okay. More convinced. Is that sure? Some $200 Monopoly properties in brief? Um, I guess that could be railroads. Yeah, all the railroads cost $200. Okay. Part of many a corsage. Is that an orchid? Yeah, it's a kind of flower. Word before cap or pop? Ice cap? Ice pop? Yeah, that makes sense. And then we're going to have two here, right? Um, an equivalent phrase for success. It worked. Or it works, maybe. Okay. So we've got two, and it looks like we're gonna multiply three maybe. Pushing up daisies, yes, this is great. Okay, so two times three gives us six, and that'll give us six feet under. Very nice, okay. Can we fill in this side section here? Quite, is that ever so? We were ever so excited to figure out the theme on today's Sunday puzzle. Time-consuming assignment to grade. That has to be an essay. Xanax alternative. Um, is it Valium? Yeah. She's sleeping with Prince Valium tonight. Okay. Word in many font names. Uh, that has to be Sans. Short for Sans Serif. Yeah. Thin incision could be a slit. Insurance giant bailed out in 2008. Yeah, that was definitely AIG. Monthly publication of the National Puzzlers League with the. That has to be the Enigma. <laughs> I do not subscribe, but I think that really makes too much sense not to be true. Arizona County or its seat. I think that's Yuma. I've heard of Yuma, Arizona. Isn't there a movie like... 410 to Yuma or something like that. Yeah. Neighbor of Mozambique. Is it Malawi? I think that's a country. Spain's Duchess of Blank. I have no idea about that one. Artificial habitat. Could that be a biodome? 
Yeah, like the movie with Polly Shore. Uh, is it Alba? I think there is a Duchess of Alba. I think that has shown up on the puzzle before. Yeah, I think that's like a title that a bunch of people inherit over time. Yeah, there's always like one Duchess of Alba. Okay. Most chiffon-like. Oh my god, what is chiffon? Isn't it like a lacy fabric? Uh, is it like airiest? Am I wrong about chiffon? Is it like a thing that you make in the kitchen? Boy, now I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I still feel like airiest is probably good because it has to end in I-E-S-T or E-S-T. There's not much else it could be. Let's just double check here. Hedy of the 2017 documentary Bombshell. Yeah, that's our good friend Hedy Lamar. She's shown up a lot recently. Okay. A makeup target? Uh, is it like a lash? Are we talking about cosmetics here? Is this an H? Fast runners? Is this just hires? Like people that are running fast? Hmm. Where a married at first sight contestant meets his or her mate. Uh, at the altar, I guess. Is that like a game show? Oh my god, that sounds like such a bad idea. Okay, um, this is not hires. Hmm. Language in which Kia Ora is a greeting. Hmm. I really don't know. Is it Maori, maybe? Like, yeah, that could be Allah. Hmm. Classic folk story that teaches a lesson of sharing. A folk story. Hmm. Maybe it's an S here. And this could be an O. Stone soup? Oh, I think that's right, actually. Yeah, because everybody contributes to the stone soup, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough to put in Maori and Lash. And then that would give us hairs for fast runners. Very good. A real cut up is a riot. Somebody that is very funny. Prefix with classical could be neo. Yeah, neo classical. Big believer in the freedom of assembly. <laughs> this is a funny wordplay clue. I guess that's Ikea. Yes, they love to have you assemble your own furniture. Long runs, more wordplay. I guess that's long runs of time would be eons. Not thinking. I guess that would be on auto, right? On automatic. You're not thinking. Advanced math degree, more wordplay. We've got a lot of wordplay down here. I think the highest degree in math would be the nth degree. Okay, landscaper supply could be sod, and then that gives us PhD for a prof's degree. Okay, very good. Kind of chip. A nacho chip, maybe? Classic novel with the line, you must be the best judge of your own happiness. That's gotta be Emma, right? It's a Jane Austen novel. Yeah, that's a good one. She's like a matchmaker. Okay, non-writing credentials for Conan Doyle and Chekhov informally. Non-writing credentials? It's some kind of credential, but it's not about writing? Is it just MDs? Were they both doctors? Wow, is that true? That's wild. Decorate. Yeah, this could be bedeck. <laughs> Bedeck the halls. <laughs> okay, that's kind of alternate version of our Christmas carol that we were singing earlier. Press blank should be a press kit. Up on could be hip to maybe? The Supreme's record label, oh man. I think I've seen this on a puzzle before. I can never remember this. Oh wait, no, is it just Motown? Yeah, I bet that's right, okay. Abolitionist Lucretia, that's Lucretia Mott. Yeah, she was a very cool lady. Um, environmental opening should just be eco, I think. When repeated a reproof, that's tut tut. You don't want to be tut tutted at. Sellers need, well, I guess you need a customer to sell to, right? Okay. 
Okay, so let's work on our last theme answer here. I can't even, a very dramatic equivalent phrase. Um, I guess it starts with just. I guess it should be just wow, right? You can imagine another little period in there. Just wow, yeah. Very nice. Um, oh, you know what? Let's just, <laughs> let's finish off this theme answer. I have a feeling it's not gonna be this, so. What the beleaguered are behind. Oh man, I guess you're in a bad position if you're behind the eight ball, right? So if we kind of do this last themer in reverse, eight divided by two would be four, and that would give us a four ball, right? Nice, okay. Yeah, these are really fun. Um, I guess I would have loved if we had more of them, but I think based on the way these are constructed, it looks like it was even kind of really hard to fit the four that we got in here. Um, as you can see, they had to kind of put a lot of like smaller words around them just to make them all fit, yeah. But yeah, these are really fun. Um, all right, let's finish this corner down here. Question of perplexion, is it just why? <laughs> all right, confused responses. I guess that could just be huhs. Uh-oh, why are? Fight site? That should be an arena. Oh, I guess this is just what? <laughs> it's a, a lot more casual than why. And then this is arena. Can we get this long one? Be up for some biking? And this is wordplay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is not being excited to do some biking. This is being on a bike and then being high in the air. Pop a wheelie. Nice, that's cute. Ninny could be a twit. In the past could be once. Let's just make sure we got these downs. Post on Insta is a pick, yeah. A man's character is his fate. Heraclitus, okay. Seems like some old school wisdom there. Suds, that's slang for a beer. Hmm, that's interesting that they put it in quotes. That seems like you didn't really need to do that. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because it's not an equivalent phrase, right? But suds is kind of a slang term, and beer actually isn't. Beer is like the standard term for like a fermented drink of that type, right? So maybe that's why they put it in quotes, because this is kind of a nickname and this isn't. Very interesting, noticing those little details like that. Okay, stern mutation. oh my god. I've never seen this word before, sternutation. Huh, well, we'll find out what it is when we get some crossing help. As you like it, forest? This is a Shakespeare play. I'm not sure what forest it took place in though. Overturned. That should be repealed, right? Like you repealed the law, you overturned it. Figure out, is it realize? Spelled the American way. Okay, so this is maybe sneeze is a sternutation. <laughs> okay, you say Gesundheit when someone sternutates. The avant-garde artists, Congo and Pierre Brasseau, artists in quotes. Oh, are they apes? I mean, humans are apes, so that doesn't really narrow it down. I guess they're probably, I don't know, gorillas or something like that. Maybe they're different types of apes, yeah. Okay, the Raven writer's initials, that's Edgar Allan Poe. And then, is this spleen? Bad temper, yeah. Yeah, like collar, as we learned the other day. It's irritation. I guess it could also be described as spleen. There's a lot of body parts subbed in for being upset or irritated, that's funny. Um, okay, high quality cannabis. Oh man, I just don't know. I don't know that one job to do could that be a stint like i did a stint at that company yeah what is this then oh this is a gin yeah that is like a spirit right i've heard of that okay um and then i guess this is endo i don't know that probably is short for something i haven't heard of it but hopefully that's right and that means we got everything filled in except for this really tricky section that we just cannot break into i don't think there's anything extra weird happening with the theme i think we're done with the theme so let's just take a peek and see if we can find anywhere to get a toehold 
Um, boy, it really seemed like this should be a lineup. You know what? I was just looking at this one again, and it seems like this should be prom dress, maybe. So possibly pout is wrong. Let's take a peek here, see if this helps. Lip puckering. Oh, yeah. It's not about the shape your lips make. It's about something that is lip puckering. It would be sour. Yeah. Oh, man. That's really tricky. Okay. Um... So this is ads. Yeah, that does make a lot more sense. Okay. This should be drop it, I think. And then this does not end in an S. Oh, man. Uh, I guess it's some kind of like Greek plural, maybe. I'm starting to think that Ziggy might be wrong. It really seems like this wants to be up. And it probably should be line up. Um, but then what could it be here? What could Ziggy be? Can we get this? Musicianship. Is that just an ear? Like if you have a good ear, you're a good musician? Jeez. And, oh, oh no. This is about restaurant stars, right? Is it Zagat? Shoot, <laughs> that is so tricky. And then apia, mm, it looks like more of a word than two eyes though. I do like that better. And then is this uteri, plural of uterus? <laughs> okay, and then extends could be renews, like you would renew a library book, you would extend your loan. Okay, and then is this notated like you would notate music? Yeah, I bet it is. It is about a musical staff. Okay. And then web of lies. Yeah, it was just staring us right in the face. I just couldn't think of it. And then robocall. Yeah, sadly, I'm sure all of us are very familiar with robocalls. All right, let's see if that B does it for us. Nice. Okay. 44 minutes for a Sunday is not terrible, but, you know, I'm always trying to get under 40 minutes, so... That one took a little bit of extra time, I think mostly due to this section being a little tough for us. Um, I don't think anything up here is really unfair, honestly. Like, all of this is completely, like, gettable. This is a little tough, um, but this was just kind of a tough wordplay clue, and I kind of went the wrong way on it. I put in Ziggy for Ziggy Stardust. Which I think is still a pretty good answer for Starman, but uh, yeah, because I didn't know that. Um, that kind of put a damper on building off of these things here because it kind of made me think a lineup was wrong. But yeah, I think overall, this is just a fine section. We just had a little bit of a tough time there. All right, let's talk about the theme. The theme is great. The only thing bad about the theme is that there isn't more of it. Um, like I said, I think it probably would have been really hard to build more of the theme into this puzzle. Like maybe you could have put one in this corner. It would have been hard though because you would have probably had to have it intersect with this theme answer. So you would have been kind of nailed in on this S. Um, so yeah, and you probably could have maybe put one up here it also would have been hard. You would have had to have the right length. But yeah, I mean, I'm still very happy with what we got. That was a very fun theme. Um, and yeah, there was a ton of wordplay on this puzzle, which I really enjoyed a lot, um, even though this one kind of threw us for a loop. Yeah, some of the really good wordplay clues were the longer ones. Something that bugs criminals, wiretapping, that's great. Pop a wheelie for be up for some biking. Yeah, those are great. And I really loved this misdirection. This is so good. Wednesday Adams. I just love seeing her pop up on the puzzle. And then we got this nice double cross revealer as the center answer of our puzzle. Excellent. Well, I hope you had twice as much fun as usual solving this double size Sunday grid. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice easy Monday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.